Hi, welcome to my blog. Today I am going to show you in Motorola Moto G the liquid liquid damage indicator or LDI. Uh, usually this is very important uh, thing to know because when your phone falls down in any water or any liquid, the liquid damage indicator will become it changes its color and so that it can be easily known by the technician who opens the phone if you are climbing under insurance or if you are not having any insurance and if you are uh, claiming uh, the phone is not working and uh, the technician when he opens he can easily say that the phone is dropped in water and so you cannot claim under warranty so this is very important to know and of course once you know the thing, how it looks and why it changes color, you can also change the strips which changes the color. Now, uh, if I show you here, my phone fall down in water. So, it is important to know that where the liquid damage indicator lies and how it changes color. In the beginning, any phone, in any smartphone, the color will not be having the red color what it is now shown here uh, once it is damaged with liquid or when it is entered uh, when it is dropped down in a water or a liquid the color automatically changes from normal uh, colorless to a red color that is uh, the high level of uh, damage that means water fully entered into this if it is light pink the color what it is now shown here is red but if it is light pink you can say that the damage is not severe or just it is uh, not too much damage happened to this and if you see here the battery if you see here there is a place where the battery connections are there this is also changed in Motorola Moto G there are three places one is here uh, the on off button here the one which i am showing in the red color here and this one is the battery connection place i just lifted the strip you can see here the strip the battery strip and if you see here the red color chain it used to be you can't generally even you open you can't see this one normal person but a technician can know easily because where it lies so one must know that where this liquid damage indicators lie so that you can change those strips if you are climbing under warranty if you are not having any insurance so usually insurance covers this liquid damage but a normal warranty will not have this facility to climb this one so here is my Motorola G I open and three places it is there in Motorola Moto G and here is the beginning one easily one can anybody can see that see anybody can see this indicator this easily can be changed once you know where it lies and this is my phone back cover which holds the battery and other stuff but in Motorola Moto G the difficulty task is that the battery is attached you can't take out it is non removable battery so the only thing what you can do when it falls down in the water you just need to just stop the phone switch off the phone and then don't shake vigorously or even any shaking so just wipe it off with a blotting paper or a normal cloth of that you can just dry it normally and to fully dry if any water enters inside you just kept it in a bag full of uh, maybe a kilo or something in a plastic bag sealed bag full of uh, rice the rice is having a very good uh, very good capacity to absorb or suck off all the water in a phone i did the same thing in just when I kept for 12 hours, there was little water left. I switched on again, looked at, but I should have kept it for two to three days. But after seeing 12 hours, I felt that it is more needed, and I kept it more time. And then after three days, I took out. It is very good. Water is completely taken out. So it's important 
to keep it at least two to three days so that all the water will be sucked off and your phone will be dry before completely ensuring yourself to the water is completely sucked off absorbed don't switch on because the more damage may happen when the water is inside and then uh, the electricity passes then the electrical short circuits may happen so don't open don't switch on when it is water is inside the first thing is you must switch off the phone immediately without any question and battery is not removal so you just can't do anything let it be don't do by removing the battery the warranty may even have a problem so the only thing is you can take out these liquid damage strips here the one which i'm showing is which one cannot see with this strip you can see the battery cable and the other one is this one here is the switch on or button where when i opened this cover it came out my finger is showing here this red color so this one and the other easily one can see is this place the cover of this one so these three places liquid damage indicator one can see here thanks for watching this video bye bye see you in the next video